Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be reviewing The Ghost in Molly McGee Season 1 Episode um, 5B called The Best of Nintentions and I'm sorry I'm talking in a low voice it's you know, after hours but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this quick because I'm really tired but um okay so we first start with uh, Molly going to her mom, um, and, um, yeah, she learned the parents' names. Um, the mom's name is Sharon, and the father's name is Peter. So, okay, so Sharon. So Molly goes to her mom, you know, Sharon, and it's like, Hey, mom, you know uh, how we kind of dropped hints that you want Grandma in to visit? And like, oh, I did? And you kind of get flashbacks to saying, Grandma is like, Hey, when can I visit my grandchildren? Oh, we're still packing. And, like, you know, she's saying, oh, there's a bunch of boxes and stuff, and there isn't, so she's lying. Mm. She did lie kind of in, um, Mom's Got a Hustle, so it doesn't really surprise me. And she's, she's like, hey, when can I visit? Oh, it's back to static connection. And, you know, um, oh, yeah, I guess I did. And Mom's like, hey, I picked up on those hints, so I called Grandma in to visit, and now she's coming. And there's a the doorbell saying, she's here. Molly, I know you have the best of intentions, but you need to ask the parents first. Like, you know, if it was just Grandma in doing it by herself, then that's not your fault, but, you know, I'm taking a point off. But, um... You see Grandma Nanny, she's is short, and you know, um, Daryl and, uh, and Molly are respectfully saying, like, you know, um, I, I, I forgot what they said, but like, you know, hello, hello, Grandma Nin. he said, oh, you hello, children, I got something for you, and she gave you some gifts, and Scratch said, oh, Grandma Nin. and Scratch, oh, I gave you this, you know, this whole platter, you know, food, and Scratch just inhales, saying, and thanks, Grandma Nin. you know, thank you, you're my favorite relative. <clears throat> and um you know um she's she grandma then says hi to peter and you know oh i got you this um durian and like and you, peter doesn't know how to eat it oh you gotta cut it open he's like, okay hey daryl let's go cut it open and then sharon shows up and she's she's like you know hi mom and you say, oh, I didn't get you a gift, Sharon, because, you know, I, I spent too much money on your art degree. You're not using it. And, you know, um, my mom is trying to kind of get them together. It's like, hey, oh, my mom, my mom's mom, breathing the same air, walking in the same room. You know, come on, let's, you know, let's, you know, hang out. Both kind of, kind of grumagely agree, and my mom's like, hey, Scratch, can I talk to you upstairs? And that's where we get back to Molly's room. And then, you know, um, basically, and Molly's like, hey, um, Scratch, don't you think things are off between Mom and Grandma and And Scratch's like, I don't know, let's go ask that. I'm sorry. And then they went to go ask Peter about it. And then there's the whole thing about the whole detentions and there's like lightning in the area. And Scratch is like, I'm a supernatural entity, and that's weird to me. Like, that, that doesn't make any sense. So, I guess there's something going on. And, you know, Scratch is like, oh, Hey, I, I, I have an idea. How about we scare them to make to make up? And Molly's like, you know, um, Or we could just tell them how much they love each other. And, you know, um, <laughs> look at their face. And Scratch is like, I guess you want to do it like the boring way. Okay, fine. Okay, this is what Grandma Nin looks like. And you know, um, this is a song called "Young yeah, and Make You Make Up." And you know, look at her, like you know, she's so good noodles. She's so good noodles. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! And you know, Molly puts like an album down and. He's like, hey, look, 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 look at this. And look, it's an art show. And, um, these two are kind of the same hairstyles. 
Are they related? Probably not. But Lulu looks there's some um, Sharon and um and then she unfolds and Lulu look at her mom. She's not having a good time. You know, and Sharon got third place and you know Lulu is the same race. You know, it's like a good cooking competition, and you know, um, you know, and Sharon is like making cook scratch, keeps it trying to eat it, and then you know, um, and you know, Sharon does a okay thing, but scratch grimming in, it's put up the whole platter, and scratch just eats the whole thing, okay. They use scratch to slip some and they trap them in the closet. They're not talking to her or I just wants his privacy. And they're both reading across from each other. Scratch slimes them to basically go basically make up. I'm tired to want to play too much. I'm really tired. Um, and the look at my face, and you know, she all wanted the emotional glue. And you know, um, there, sorry, there's also like a B plot where um, Peter can't eat the durian, durian because it smells bad, tastes bad, but Daryl can. So uh, Peter bribes Daryl to do it. Oh, I won't get mad if you don't have like the greatest grades in your report card, and I'll do your chores and stuff like that. Daryl, you know, agrees, and you know, um, Daryl's like eating and stuff, and dude, you know, that's like the B plot, and um, you know, and Mo Molly's like, D Dad, you you need to talk to Mom and Grandma about this, you you know, like, and, you know, um, Peter's like, Molly, we don't talk about the tensions, you like, lighting, and it's like, Dad, if something was going on between Mom and I, wouldn't you want to fix it? And Peter's like, oh, okay. And she's like, Sharon, where are you? And she's like sneezing. Oh, she's on the bed, kind of hiding. Hey, Sharon, we, we, we gotta talk about the tensions. And the lightning. And I almost scratch. Super weird. And, you know, it's like, oh, this is tearing our family apart. Like, and, hey, could it be about... It, could it be about us eloping? And we actually get to see, like, a little picture of them. So we actually get that backstory. And also, um... Sharon got an art degree in, um, so, okay. You're in college. And, and you know, um, we, is that, is, is your mom mad at us for not having a proper wedding? And Sharon's like, oh, to say out of Pete. And, you know, um, people, I, I tried. And mom said, oh, Grandma is upset because she wasn't there for the wedding. And so, okay, come on, scratch. We need to throw them a wedding. And then she threw a wedding. Oh, it's, it's pretty nice. And then, you know, um, he said, oh, surprise, surprise wedding. And then, you know, um, we wanted to throw a party so you and Grandma didn't stop fighting. And then Sharon's like, if this will finally make you happy and not mad at me, Okay, fine. Peter, we're getting married. And he's like, ah, this brings back me memories. This, this, you know, it brings back memories. And then, you know, is it, I don't, I don't really remember the stuff, but it's just, oh, it's the passage of the corsage and the flowers and stuff like that. And, it's, you know, and Peter's like, oh, I asked for your daughter's hand in marriage. And she's like, you only have pennies? Well, you know, I, d d I didn't know about this wedding t t just now. And then, She's like, Are, is that what you're wearing to your wedding, Sharon? It was a surprise wedding, and like, uh, you, you're not even wearing, like, the, you know, the proper wedding clothes either. Jeez. And oh, okay, come on, let's hurry, let's hurry up. And she's like, hey, sit up straight, like you, you, you know. And she's like, this is why Peter and I eloped. And they, you know, um, and then basically, Molly ties them up and it's like, hey, what's going on? Like, uh, we, we want to throw this wedding so Grandma Nin wouldn't be mad at you for not being at your wedding. And Sharon's like, no, Molly, that's not it. Grandma Nin is mad at me. It's because 
I didn't finish my law degree and took art instead. And they're like, oh. And Grandma's like, no, you got it wrong, Sharon. I'm upset because you didn't finish your art degree. Wait, so that means Sharon didn't finish law or art? Come on. And I was like, oh. And so you're really talented, Sharon. And she drew like a really nice flower. I thought that was pretty nice. Pretty good. And you know, um, so stop selling pork because you're more gig pig. That's you know, still continuity. Stop selling pork and set and start doing your art again. And all oh, you know, the thanks, mom. And you know, um, she gives an adoration to Peter. <laughs> He's all real thanks, grandma. And she gives a hug to to Daryl and Molly. You know, and Scratch and um, says goodbye to Sharon. Like here you go. Here's a little gift for you. And he said, oh, Mom, well, what did Grandma didn't give you? And he said, oh, it's a reminder. It was a bunch of, you know, brushes and stuff and drawings. Um, you know, um, color pencils. <clears throat> and, you know, Scratch goes to Grandma and oh, don't forget to send back packages of food. And don't forget to visit. And that's the end of the episode. Okay. Whew. Um. I get this one in, um. In 85%, so um, overall for both segments, I give it an 83.5%. So B, yeah, I, I I give I give it a B. It was a great episode. You know, first half was an 80%, second half was 85%. So 83.5%, a B. Okay, everyone, um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, give me a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys um, tomorrow for the Ghost of Molly McGee season one episode six call, called um is it Libby um bat bat mitzvah and um um not not so good deeds or something like that um. All right, bye.